The soft corals are one of the main reasons that all this life is attracted to the Yongala. Almost every available space on its once smooth hull is covered with them. The soft corals are a refuge for millions of small fish, but they must dart out from time to time to feed on the plankton in the current. And wherever small fish gather, it's not long before something bigger turns up to eat them. Queensland gropers are real giants, the largest bony fish on the reef. This Yongala resident is as big as a small car, which is why he's known locally as the VW. His mouth's so big he could swallow sharks and rays whole. But another resident has an even deadlier bite. Sea snakes have more potent venom than many of their land-living relatives, and they put it to good use. The olive sea snake doesn't really look as if it's hunting, but when its small head disappears into a hole, it can trap and paralyse any fish hiding there. It's unusual for so many predators to be swimming so close to each other, but there's so much to eat here. Most of the action is on top of the wreck, where the strongest currents sweep in the most food. For the small fish that live here, to venture into the blue water is a huge gamble, but they've got to do it to feed. If they get it wrong and go too far, that can mean the difference between life and death. The amount of marine life to be found in the 100 metres of the wreck of the Yongala is truly staggering. Arguably, it's a greater concentration of life than on any spot on the barrier reef itself. <laughs> 